Well, that was a nice surprise. I was not expecting it to be this beautiful this morning photographing. Sometimes photography just really turns it on. <laughs> Good morning, you beautiful people, and welcome to another vlog. The last morning of this road trip adventure around Slovenia for this time, beginning another one just in a couple of days. We're splitting up because the rain is coming tomorrow, but we've come to probably one of the most famous and most iconic churches in Slovenia, Jamnik Church this morning. But unfortunately, conditions are just not perfect right now. So we're hoping that cloud bank in the background there is where the sun will rise. It's pretty thick, unfortunately, because it's quite devastating as well because the cloud we have above the Yamnik and the Karavanka Alps right now is absolutely spectacular. So before we get into this vlog, guys, make sure to drop below, subscribe for future content because it has been an action-packed four days and we are only road trip number one of about three or four of this Slovenia full photography session. It's going to be absolutely bloody epic. Let's get right into this vlog. Okay, so we're getting just the first bit of color. We are one minute away from the official sunrise, but we're just starting to get some really soft color in the background. You can probably see it in the background of the camera, but it's very soft, almost like pastel colors. But I'm setting up to shoot a pattern once again, just so I can zoom in. We've talked about a lot on this series, shooting the XF 55 to 200 and about 85 millimeters. And what I'm trying to do is basically, it determines where I want the pattern to start and finish is by sort of where the colors are happening. So I'm lining up this tree on the left-hand side here, going all the way around to the mountain, uh, the, the secondary mountain there. And that's sort of where the colors are dictating where I want the parent to shoot. At the moment, I'm shooting seven across because I am zoomed up quite a lot. And so far it's working out well, but unfortunately, as I said, we're not gonna get that beautiful autumnal sunrise like I wanted this morning, but hey, I'm out here, I'm photographing, I'm happy. So settings 160 ISO, I'm shooting at f5.6 and it's given me one over 25 seconds. I have went through and just done an initial image then and I have actually single exposure. And I'm contemplating right now whether to go through and do an exposure bracketing, but I don't wanna just get the exposure bracketing for the sake of getting it, if you know what I mean. So that's what I wanna try and do. That's why I'm more photography here with a drone, so. I'm actually going to wait for him to get the drone down so I can get mine up.
Okay, I might have went a little bit early on the assumption that the colors wouldn't pop this morning. It went absolutely mental. Basically, as soon as I turned the camera off to you guys, I did end up changing to bracketing exposure because as I said, the colors did pop and I wanna make sure I get all that information in camera because I do wanna take more images nowadays that I can print. So I don't wanna introduce that noise or blow out highlights so I can print it, hang it on the wall and be extremely happy with it. One thing I forgot to say before also is I locked down that white balance to cloudy because we are panoramic stitching, so you want to make sure our white balance is the coherent all the way from left to right hand side. I did take quite a lot of images because I did say I had three bracket exposure and I did do seven images across. I did pull it back to 55 mil because the, the color that was happening was quite high. So I pulled it back and did just raise the camera a little bit. So hopefully it stitches well together. That's why I've done seven, so I can reduce it to five if it doesn't stitch very well. <sighs> Epic morning. I thought it was gonna be a complete failure the last morning of this road trip, but it's turned out to be absolutely beautiful. So here is seven images across, three bracketing exposure for each image, and a beautiful morning at Yamnik. What a morning. What a bloody last morning on this epic road trip around Slovenia photographing the four colors. Guys, if you want to join me on this epic location, the links for my workshop will be in the description below. You can be here in October 2021 photographing this epic area and this epic country of Slovenia. It is so beautiful. If you want some merch, Mathstore.com. I appreciate all the love and support. But I'm gonna go home now. I need to sleep. I need to eat properly, I need to sleep well. It's gonna rain so much tomorrow. We're expecting like 40 millimeters of rain tomorrow. Then Tuesday, we are back out photographing another epic road trips. There is so much more to come. So please drop below, subscribe for future content. But in the comments below, let me know what has been your favorite photograph from this short series, the last four days, photographing all around Slovenia. I wanna know what you guys are interested in and also why you are interested in that photo. Make sure to head over to my Instagram, at Matthew Store Photography, to catch up on all these images and other images I've captured around this epic road trip that aren't inside of this vlogs. But guys, I will see you on Tuesday morning, back out somewhere in Slovenia photographing on this epic road trip. But for today, I appreciate all the love and support. Drop below and subscribe. Ciao. Oh, yeah.